Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing with a Brute Beatdown deck and actually in a first game we're gonna be against Shiva Chase. So already on the deep waters. You probably didn't see me playing Brute today because, well, yesterday I've recorded a Digger control so you probably expect me to play some more uh, uh, deck that requires skill or something. And uh, here I am delivering again uh, Kinda low effort content because uh, beatdown decks are pretty much very easy to play once you get a uh, an average grasp of uh, how to play them. So my opponent will actually get a very ma good matchup against me because uh, Viking against Brute, as a general rule of thumb, is a good matchup. Also, he's gonna be playing probably his uh, Necromancer variation, which is. Yeah, I also expected this piercing archer. You cannot get away with it um, uh, unless you can. Yeah, that's gonna be a very aggressive cyclone, but it's gonna work out for him because yeah, he's gonna just get away with this damage and pretty much uh, frustrate me till the end of time. I think actually the play will be to play Fawn King here to bait out his Viking and then go uh, for a brute kite on the opposite side. Let's see if that's gonna work out. There we go, there's the Viking Bite uh, uh, Kited. And right now we pretty much play Mother Devil here. I'm gonna have to kill uh, his Necromancer with spells. That's for. Actually, I don't have resources, so that's gonna be uh, pretty tough here. I would also love to get a kill on this. I, I will even get a kill on this. Now, this item, I'm already starting the attack on the opposite side, so pretty much everything that I've said worked out in my favor. And I'm gonna just double down on this uh, advantage. I'm gonna play a Fawn King. He's gonna play a Piercing Archer, which obviously is a nice play. Uh, this tower is falling, and he pretty much cannot stop it. Even playing Cyclone would be even a waste, like a mistake. Uh, he's gonna be playing Viking, which is obviously a good, good play against that. I'm gonna play a Super Devil in the back. I'm gonna play a blitz on that just to relieve some pressure. There's no reason to just keep it like that. I'm gonna play Mother Devil here, and he actually will uh, try to predict my Brute Kite, but I'm not gonna Brute Kite. I'm gonna first of all deal with this Necromancer and then deal with his Viking. And now all my forces are coming right together. So I'm gonna just tank for them with a Brute. And I think right now my opponent pretty much cannot do anything. As always, a good game to Chivache for putting up the fight, but it wasn't it, buddy. I'm taking your Melos. I don't even know how much Melos I will, I will take, but yeah. Uh, wait, I'm currently uh 25, maybe 8 Melos? Okay, 7. That's fair enough. Thanks for 7 medal, Chivache. I'm gonna see you guys uh, in the game number 2. And we're gonna be actually playing against Chivache once again, so let's just start with a Bomber. Uh, like I've said, we have to be very careful, especially in like uh, first minute or two, because uh, he can um, get pretty aggressive and uh, you never know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go for a Mother Devil on the same side. Let's just do that. Get some Devils spawning uh, and let's just see how it's gonna go. I'm gonna actually go for a Brute because uh, I reckon, okay, he's gonna actually mirror his Necromancer spell. Not, that's not gonna be the best thing in the world, but at the same time, I'm gonna just go for a spells. And yeah, this cycle was an absolute waste, and I think we have a win already, so... <clears throat> that was a fun one. I don't think... Uh, I mean, probably Chivache just panicked and tried to get his uh, supports as soon as uh, it was physically possible. But it uh, didn't work out for him, and instead I just get a very nice clamp, which I obviously uh, use. I cycled Blitz as a first card to just... I mean, it worked out in the end, it could uh, it could have been a real trouble if he got with supports very aggressive. But since he defended with them, I was just in time to cycle to my Blitz, and that was pretty much his demise, like I've hit the perfect timing. Okay, enough yapping from me. Thanks for another 7, let's jump into game number 3. And we're in the game number 3 against uh, Jim Bob 1030 who, uh, as you probably can tell from his mail count, is not a, a top player yet. Obviously, I wish him the best of luck uh, in fulfilling this dream, if that's uh, the dream of his. If not, 
I'm gonna just set my push for taking some medals and yeah, uh, th that's gonna be already the push he already calls the good game because that's how this deck works I'm gonna get a Fon King and pretty much secure myself a victory he's gonna quit, very unfortunate for Jimbop but the uh, 4 medals are mine and there's nothing to be done about, GG's and we're up against another dude who is gonna be called Moist Stu with 178 medals, I'm gonna uh, start off with a with a blitz and he's gonna start with some uh, pressure at the bridge which is obviously acceptable and now I'm gonna play Fon King just to defend it okay so I'm gonna just cycle Super Devil see what's happening I'm gonna play a Mario Devil on these twins because obviously I don't want to receive the damage from them so Right now I think it's a good time just to play offense and as far as I know he's playing viking <coughs> so I was anticipating it uh, be playing right here but he went for another defense and that's gonna cost him tower I think in every single situation he would love to yeah play a viking here but he probably didn't have mana or he wasn't sure what he's gonna do against uh, like uh, devils <coughs> so he decided to not play viking so i'm gonna actually get a blitz here to save some hp on my fountain and play brute in uh, front of everything <coughs> to get a uh, three starring attack i think that's gonna be the end and uh, moist too usually puts up a very good fight against me even against this deck he gets a very nice wins but today i'm gonna be standing on top and that's gonna be a ggs x4-4 let's jump to the next game of the video and we're in another game this time also against moist too he already calls good game i uh, i'm gonna say nice play which is basically a good luck of boom arena not sure how many people actually know that, but I hope he's gonna like get the message. I'm gonna get a very nice kite against this viking. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to sacrifice this brute. I don't think there's a way where I'm holding it. And he even plays a bomb tower, so... <coughs> it's like a free sign for me to pump up and ignore all the threats. Uh, thrown uh, at me uh, by life he's gonna play poison which is a fine thing because right now i can just play mother devil without any restraints and i think i'm gonna actually double down on this push i'm gonna uh, uh, like ignore this these twins i'm gonna play blitz here to just defend them quicker and my push will be pretty much unstoppable for him i don't think he can ever kill this especially now that i'm gonna be adding a font king i think this game is already over and that's gonna uh, how that's how we're gonna be ending this like like i've said this deck is very aggressive and you win many games in a single mana if you play it correctly so that's gonna be another example let's jump to the next game and this game will be against 10 death with 20 mills uh, obviously hit him with a nice play and he responds to us with a noob, which is very bizarre since I don't think I'm the beginner at the game. He should be, first of all, looking at my metal count uh, of how much medals do I have. And he should uh, instantly realize that, uh, if anything, I'm the veteran of the game and not the beginner. But well, you do you. I'm gonna play Brute to sacrifice all this damage. I'm gonna try to actually protect my funking and make it counter push because that's why I sacrificed the brute. He's gonna get a devil horde. Oh, very cute defense. I'm gonna get a blitz here. And since we now know <coughs> he's gonna be very hard on spamming, I think the best bet is gonna figure out some defensive setup. So Right now I'm gonna play a mana collector which sets me back 6 mana and by the time this Dark Knight uh, reaches my tower I'm gonna have 2 more so 
I think the way I'm gonna try to defend is gonna play Fawn King on the... Actually, no, uh, I'm gonna play just Super Devil and try to kite this Dark Knight uh, to the other side. That's one way to defend, and I think that's gonna be the most efficient way. I'm gonna get uh, my uh, Brute Kite to the other side, and he sets up with another Dark Knight, so that's gonna be tough. I'm gonna play a Bomber here, just to make it jump, and now I'm gonna kite it to my Mother Devil. I'm gonna get a Blitz on his Skeleton Horde once he plays it, and I'm pretty much guaranteed him playing it. Here we go. Because he needs to get rid of this brute. Right now, my funky will just get a charge on. And once he plays a devil horde, I'm gonna be ready with bullets. He's, I believe, one mana off. And once he does it, I'm not gonna hesitate. I'm gonna even predict it. Let's see if I'm gonna hit it. Yeah, I don't think I hit it because he just quit. That's gonna be the game for you uh, right now. And I think I'm gonna play one more to just wrap this video up because... Uh, We've got some quick games today, uh, I don't want to leave like early, let's do one more, shall we? And with this game I have actually realized that we're gonna be hitting 2500 medals, so let's do it against Hemo with 29 medals. Let's see what his build off. Since I've played Bomber on the left side, and this Bomber will do pretty fine job at protecting left side, I'm gonna cycle Brute on the right side and try to pretty much get uh, it going. My opponent so far plays nothing, probably because he's scared, I believe, or maybe he didn't have a too well of an internet connection. I'm gonna actually play a bullet to get rid of these archers. Nothing too shabby, I'm gonna add a phone king. I believe he's playing a uh, 2.9 machine gun with a swordsman and a cannon in this configuration, not with a explorer and... Uh, <coughs> uh, and uh, Fawn Hut, which would be another configuration, but yeah. Uh, my opponent is incapable of defending it, and I don't mean it as an insult, it's just a fact he didn't defend that. And my leftover troops will deal some damage to a Viking Tower. I don't think I, do I want to double down. On this push, I'm gonna just reset it with a Brute in the back. Nothing too shabby, and <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna just wait for Hemo to respond in any way. He's gonna be playing actually apes, so for that I have a bomber. Apes will do some damage, but it's a 5 mana commitment, so he kinda had to get some damage in order not to be uh, completely dead. I'm actually fine with the damage I've taken, because it's not too much. By the same uh, time, I've got a huge uh, positive mana trade, and with that being said, I don't think Hemo has enough resources to defend that push. And that's gonna be GG's well played. So there you have it. A brute, uh, brute pump deck with a Mother Devil and Fawn King. As a little twist to mess with your pawns. Is uh, right for you for the taking. I play uh, with a, without a big spell because Blitz plus bullets counter many meta choices. For instance, Necromancer and Piercing Archer. And you definitely want to have a tool to get rid of those. So yeah, that's gonna be it for from me in today's episode. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please consider to doing so because I post Boom Arena content every single day and you don't uh, want to miss any of my uploads. So yeah, thanks you for watching. Consider subscribing if you aren't already. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.